I'm analyzing patient Karen Hutchison. I'm going to double click on the patient name to open up the study. And I'm going to start working with uh, from left to right, first with editing. This is where we can edit all the patient information, all the demographics, reason for a test, um, referring physician. You can enter dire symptoms time and medication. Next, moving into view. This is where we're going to go through the bins. And we have all the beats grouped here. We're going to start with uh, normal beats. Just a quick glance. Um, there's usually no need to go into those, um, especially with a nice, clean study as this one. So I'm going to move right into ventricular beats. And there are four bins of ventricular beats. As, you know, we're looking at uh, atrial fibrillation. Uh, first ventricular bin contains only one beat, so I don't need to go into that one in depth. I can already see it on the screen here. So moving on to the next one, bin number two, there are 23 characters here. I can look at them one at a time, or I can pull them up on the screen using the view button. And then your Z button on the keyboard will um, enlarge to the full uh, page size. And working here, we have different options. Um, if you want to look at 30 by 20 characters, 20 by 10, 12 by 6, and so forth, I'm going to work with 12 by 6. This is, um, makes it easy for me to see all the beats, and all these beats are correct. So using the Z button again, I'm going to go back to the previous menu. And moving on to the bin number 3. Again, three beats all seem to be correct. And the last one. So there's some noise uh, beats here. So I'm just going to double check whether there's anything hiding in here. And I think I'm going to noise the whole thing. So in order to do that, um, I can click on and tag each single one of those. Or I can untag it with the right click. Again, click and drag the mouse over. So this allows you to go from left to right, right to left. It's very flexible. So once I have all the noise beats tagged, I'm just going to change them to artifact. And what we're left with are just ventricular beats. So again, going back to the bends, and we've pretty much finished uh, editing all the ventricular beats. Um, we're going to move into the supraventricular bends. Now, since this is AFib, obviously none of these are correct or all of them are correct, but um, I'm just going to quickly scroll through those um, just to make sure there's no VPBs hiding in here. So um, it's going to be a long process with 35,000 beats, so I'm just going to quickly drag this down. All these should be labeled correctly, but just want to make sure there's nothing missing in here. So I'm happy with this. Ben, again, tag any of the boxes and use the Z button to get out of there. Moving on to the next one. I'm just going to repeat the same thing. Now there's a ventricular beat here, which I want to change. So I'm going to untag the first one and tag this one here, change to ventricular. And there's another one here. So And moving on. So the rest of those seems to be fine. Another beat here. Now to look at the very bottom of the page, uh, what we need to do is double click on the last box you see on your screen takes us to the full disclosure and drag this all the way down and double click again so this just shows us the rest of your beats here so these are fine I'm not going to change anything I will be changing them all to normal I might as well start now um, so all these beats 30 almost 33,000 are um, going to be changed into normal so what I'm going to do is just um, while I'm in the bin right click and change to normal now the second bin as well Right click, change to normal. Now I'm going to look at two, bin number three. 
you can see button and go into the bin. And we'll repeat the same move, just double click and drag down all the way to the bottom. So this bin is normal as well. And finally the last bin here. And again, we're almost at the bottom of the page, so just double click and scroll down. So all these are fine. So again, Z button to get out of there, right click, change to normal. So this took care of our uh, Super Ventricular Beats. Uh, and going into your artifact bins, this is quite important to check, uh, especially with AFib, because sometimes if you have a slow AFib, you may have some pauses, as, uh, as you can see right now. These three boxes do contain some pauses, so I'm just going to go into each single one of them, one at a time. And uh, in order for this pause to be calculated into your uh, final report, uh, we cannot have the artifact right on the baseline. So what I'm going to do is um, change this beat to normal and delete this part here. If we were to leave it as artifact, the pause will not be calculated. So Now what it does though, it just creates some SVPBs because of the rate change. So we're going to have to go in and change those later to normal. And I think this is it for our long pauses. I'm not really concerned with any shorter ones, but uh, I wouldn't want to miss any, any longer pause. Again, change the beat to normal and X or delete this part. So. And uh, sometimes it's a little easier to look at them if you change the speed to 5, so you can actually see more of the beats on the screen. So it allows you to see the beats before and after the one that you're actually looking at. So again, short pause, not a big concern. So quickly go through the rest of them, just to make sure there's nothing else missing. And moving on to bin number 3. And look at this one and change this to normal. And the last bin, only three characters, and I can see this is just a mess here, so I don't need to go into any details. So we finished editing through all the beats right now. The next move is to go into episodes since we're working left to right. So in the episodes, we will have those SVPBs which uh, popped in when we changed those beats to normal and deleted those, art those uh, artifacts on the baseline. So before moving on, I want to go back and take care of those, changing them to normal. And again, going into uh, episodes mode. That leaves us with 53 ventricular beats, and we have seen them all already when we're editing through the ventricular bins. So I'm just going to quickly pull them up on the screen just to make sure we're not missing anything. And this one, sure enough, is a normal beat. So actually, it's, um, it's not falling on the beat, so I will change this to artifact. And everything else seems to be correct. So going out of there, two ventricular couplets. I'm going to look at them one at a time, since there's only two of them. No need to go into inhibition, and there's 1,459 pauses. So okay, I'm going to pull them up along the screen, just to make sure we haven't missed anything. And they all seem to be correct. Again, double click on the last one. 
subtract the cursor, and this is a very long pass. So if I wanted to measure it, I can bring the calipers, click on the bit here, hold mouse button down and drag it over. And at the bottom you can see this is a 4.32 seconds long pause. Which will make this study quite urgent to be reported. Moving on to bradycardia events. Again, just quickly going through to make sure there's nothing missing. If I want to look at something full disclosure, again, just double click on any of the squares that you want to check. And this just seems to be slow. AFib. Tachycardia episodes 175. Again, Z button. Now here I'm going to change the speed to 10 because the, the rate is just too high for me to be able to see anything. And then quick scroll through all the episodes here. Irregular rhythm. Obviously, this is AFib, so the whole recording is irregular. So. Uh, we won't find anything here we, are, we don't already know, so I'm just going to move on to finding our longest and shortest NN. Now for the longest one, I'm going to click the left mouse key, hold it down as far right on this graph as I can, and drag it over until I have about 1,000 episodes or so. And I can quickly scroll through. Uh, may be useful to change the time, change the speed rather, so I can see the beats in front of those that I'm looking at, just to make sure there's no other pauses that I'm missing, and all these seem to be fine. So double click on the last one, scroll down, and we this is where we come across our longest pause. So um, I'm going to create a label by clicking on select and just labeling. longest and then double click to go back to where I was and move on to the shortest one so same thing just going from the opposite side left mouse button down hold it and drag over here I will change the speed again to 10 and this is our shortest and then so just double click and select the label Click, tag any of the boxes and use the Z button to go back to our previous screen. So at this point we're finished with, with all the editing. There are 52 ventricular beats, two couplets, and 1459 pauses up to 4.3 seconds in duration. So now if you wanted to correlate any symptoms that the patient may have had with, uh, with the ECG recording, um, we can do it from the page mode. You can change the time to five to five minutes intervals and just drag it down to the time that's indicated by the patient and you can see if there's anything correlating with with a symptom and the last thing we're going to move into are the strips so uh, i want to select the strips which will show in my report so starting with ventricular beats uh, none of these i have selected yet or none of these are marked out of 52 i would like to pick a couple so uh, all you need to do is just click on the strip and use the space bar on your keyboard to select one. So we have a couple of those. Now both couplets are already selected. You can see they're in yellow, so we're happy with that. I don't need any of these. Going into your pauses, 1459, five of these are already selected. So, And we do have the longest one already selected by ourselves so I think this is the second longest bradycardia episodes again maybe select one of them tachycardia minimum heart rate 27 beats per minute this is correct so I'm happy with that maximum heart rate 176 so we're going to leave it like this and selected strips. So these are the strips which I picked myself, shortest and then and longest and then. So at this point, all the editing is done. And the last thing to do is go into summary. 
and interpretation. And this is the field where you can type your own interpretation um, or you can use any of the statements from the uh, pull down menu on the right hand side. So let's say you want to label this atrial fibrillation. You should be able to find it here. Click on it. So at this point, once you finish with interpretation, the last thing to do is to save the report.